Sexting, sending suggestive photos by text message or on the internet. Doctors suggest it's behavior that could indicate a sex addiction. But it usually seems people only realize they have a problem after they're caught. Joy LaPola has tonight's cover story, Caught in the Act. The seduction of sex. Um, sex is a powerful biologically based appetite. It's similar to, to hunger. For Richard, who asked we not use his last name, his sexual craving nearly ruined his life. Well, as a selfish and, and self-centered individual, I had I had thought that whatever I wanted, when I wanted it, where I wanted it, was the most important thing. Richard believes he suffers from the same addiction as Tiger Woods, Brett Favre, and former Congressman Anthony Weiner. It's primarily uh, using the addiction as an answer to trying to solve life's issues. But like others, Richard didn't know until after he was caught. You know there are critics out there who would say, you know what, you got caught, you don't have a problem, the only thing you may suffer from is making poor decisions. You know, I knew that what I was doing wasn't right, but I didn't know what it was. There are many people who are struggling to be in control of themselves sexually. These people are in need of help for themselves, for their families, uh, for, the, for the common good. And uh, I think it's important that we acknowledge that and not simply sneer and assume that all of this is something that's just being used as a, as a weak excuse. Dr. Fred Berlin specializes in the evaluation and treatment of patients with sexual disorders. But if some people are struggling and needing help, we have to acknowledge that and try to provide that for them. While I was acting out, I was willing to sacrifice everything. Paul Kellner, who's a sex addiction therapist, says he hears that a lot from his patients. It's the compulsion, it's the inability to stop. An addicted person cannot stop. So who knew of your addiction before the arrest? Nobody. Not even me. Over the years, there were signs. Therapists call them acting out behaviors. Among them, sexting. Excessive masturbation. Excessive amount of time on internet porn sites would be another. Um, going to massage parlors, strip clubs, having affairs, meeting anonymous people for sex. I might hold a record. It's certainly not a record to be proud of. Richard says he had a total of 32 different acting out behaviors. Then he joined Sex Addicts Anonymous. It's a 12-step program. Richard attends meetings and has a sponsor. It offers solutions to the problem. and brings about awareness. The reason people are hypersexual is the same reason people drink excessively and use drugs excessively. It's to numb out feelings. It's a coping mechanism that doesn't work very well. Whether it's an addiction or just an excuse, it's intensely personal. And doctors who treat people like Richard say recovery can take years and the risk of relapse remains a constant. Joy LaPola, Fox 45, News at 10. And ultimately, only a patient and their therapist know if the issue is truly sex addiction or just an excuse. But they never had an appreciation of what was going on or what they were accused of. These brothers lived with their mother for a long time, even after she died. The reason they won't face charges later on Fox 45 News at 10. These teens ransack a convenience store. The other places they also struck and why they eventually went after one person. Next on Fox 45 News at 10. And much better temperatures heading our way as we go through the next several days down the road. It looks pretty good out there. Right now, 81 in Baltimore, 77 in Hagerstown, looking at 75 in Salisbury. I'll show you the fabulous forecast coming up next.